we know, uh, you know, Billy Joe Saunders' fight had uh, fell through with Kurtzis being uh, arrested on uh, on, a, on a lot of charges. I think uh, wire, wiring fraud uh, is this charge that faces 20 years. And um, heard this date might get pushed back. Well, definitely going to get pushed back, of course. So I guess, you know, it's not going to be a total rehaul. You know, he has bad luck with fights over, over the last few, you know, eight, nine months. You know, he's supposed to be on the Canelo undercard of Lyman Smith versus Rosado or one of them motherfuckers. And uh, he chose not to. And that was going to be a setup fight for him and Canelo. That could have took place Cinco de Mayo in May. But um, since he didn't oblige with that, Chavez Jr. swooped that in and, um, you know, and did a million pay-per-views. So it ended up being a good move for Canelo. This your boy CJ Goodfellow back with the boxing clinic, of course. And, um, you know, now Andre Rozier and Danny Jacobs, you know, made a post. And they called out uh, Billy Joe Saunders. Said it's time. Time for uh, Billy Joe Saunders to face Neff. Neff uh, Danny Jacobs, nephew Danny Jacobs and shit like that. And um, um, I like the fight, man. You know, you know, a lot of people call him Billy, Billy Joe Saunders, Billy Ho Saunders. I was one of those people because he he didn't know what he wanted to do with his career. You know, he was dipping, ducking, triple G, and and not wanting to fight these guys and shit like that. And you know, he manhandled uh Chrissy Banks Jr. And people tend to forget that because they like E Banks Jr. and they, and they just make excuses. He's one of those fighters that make excuses for like Adrian Broner in that same breath. But um, while well, he wasn't this, he wasn't that. Got his ass whooped. You know what I mean? That kid only know one go. He don't have any 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 change of speed in his game. It's just go, 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 go. And that's how you get your ass beat sometimes. Versus a fighter like Billy Joe Saunders, who takes his time, really can box, got some is a defensive wizard. I won't call him a defensive wizard. By UK standards, he's a defensive wizard. But he's a good defensive fighter, you know, and he has underrated power. You know, he's a good fighter, solid fighter. Um drop Andy Lee and uh beat the pulp, beat the shit out of him. And um you know, he's, you know, I think he should take this fight. You know what I mean? To prove the haters wrong. You know, be sure, he beats Danny Jacobs more convincingly then people are going to be looking at Triple G a little bit more funnier. You know? And, you know, it's not it's not out the realm ability of him beating Danny Jacobs. Now, Danny Jacobs is a hell of a fighter. You know what I mean? But, like I said, you know, his his resume ain't all that. He's been knocked out cold before versus Demetrius Piro. You know, before he had cancer. He got dropped by Sergio Mora. Had a tough fight with Moore, shoot out with Moore. I think Moore tore his Achilles or some shit, tore his knee up. Then came back and rematched him, you know. He blew him out the water like he was supposed to do in the first fight, which he kind of did. But, you know, the leg made an excuse for Moore. And then he he, he uh, knocks out Peter Quillen in .1 seconds, in .001 seconds. Um, and pretty much that was his claim to fame. They kind of shoot, shot him to superstardom. Um, but I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't impressed by any of that. You know, that, the Peter Quillen was impressive, but... You know, he, he had been going up and down, dropping his belt and all that other shit. Um, you know, he had a tough fight with Andy Lee, who was a draw. And I think Rosado was, you know, he ended up beating his ass when they stopped that fight. Um, that was kind of crazy and fishy as well. But he was impressive versus Triple G, nonetheless. And um, I think that's going to start, you know, not you know, give him that boogeyman stick, stick him a little bit. But, you know, I think Billy Joe Saunders should man up to the plate, even though that hasn't seemed to be in his character. And, and take the fight, you know. You know, just rehaul. Take a... Uh, Take about two, two, three, four weeks off, and then you know, you know, make this fight a later date. You know, maybe in September, you know, October, middle October. I don't know when he wants to come back. You know, take a break because you've been training hard. The fight was only two or three weeks, or three or four weeks away. Reset, then get ready for Daniel Jacobs to make your American debut. I, I'm, I'm not sure if he fought in America. I don't think he has, but why not? You know, once, once these guys like him, you know, Joshua and the rest of these guys, Dylan White apparently coming over here. Once they get a sniff of, of America. They're going to like it. You know, it's different from uh, the U.K. In the U.K., they know how to party, and they, they live over there. They live, baby. They live. But um, but at the same time, um, if these guys fought, a, you know, go to California, New York, uh, Vegas, you know, live for the porch, by the way. Excuse the noise. You know, Vegas or, you know, New York, they're going to want to stay over here. I'm trying to tell you. It's, it's just a different beat. It's a different uh, rhythm over here. And um, it would be a nice fight for that to happen at the Barclay or MSG. I think they would happily accept Danny Jacobs versus Billy Joe Saunders world title fight. Um, and I think it's a good fight. I think it's a, it's a good fight. Well, most people would pay, probably favor Danny Jacobs because what he did versus Triple G. But I think, you know, Billy Joe Saunders has some abilities and has some qualities and characteristics about him that he can he can, he can can win the fight. You know, I wouldn't have any problem picking Billy Joe Saunders if I knew that he was in, a, you know, shape and he was prime and ready and he was focused for this fight. I think he definitely could beat Daniel Jacobs, but it's a close fight, and most people will lean towards Danny. But um, Billy got some skills. We got.